Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a transparent header for your Squarespace website. If you have a standard page section with an image background, you don't need any code to do this. All you need to do is hop into edit mode, select edit site header, click on style, and then select dynamic from your different options. That will make your header transparent so you can see the image behind your site navigation. However, if you're using a banner list slideshow or maybe a gallery with a full width image, you're not going to get this same effect. For that, we'll need just a little bit of custom CSS, and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you in this specific tutorial. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so I can teach you exactly how to use this code on your own Squarespace website. Let's get started. So here we are inside Squarespace, and you can see that I've already set this header to dynamic because we can see the first page section image behind it. If we hop into edit mode, I'll just show you one last time, select edit site header, select style, and here you can choose dynamic from your list of four options. Now that's great for that page section, but what if we want to use a list section or a gallery? For that, we'll need custom CSS. Here I have a slideshow using a banner list section, and I'm going to move this up to be the top section. You'll notice it now sits underneath the header. The header is not showing this image in the background. For that, we'll need to update it with custom CSS. I'll go ahead and select Save, and we'll click through to the next slide where I have the code that we're going to use to scoot this page section up behind the header. To add this code to our website, we'll select Website, then Website Tools, and our first option is Custom CSS. Here, we can say Page, Section, Nth Child, one, which means just the first page section on the page, then we'll open up a curly bracket and we'll say padding top zero, exclamation point important. As soon as we've added that, the image will scoot up to the very top of the page. Now we can click through to the other images and they will be behind the header, not just on desktop, but also on a mobile device. Pretty awesome, right? Now you might be thinking this is great, but what if I have this on just one page? What if I don't want this on every page of my website? You can add this to a single page using page header code injection for a business or a commerce plan, or you can grab the collection ID. I have a link to a Chrome extension underneath this video, not affiliated, just a fan. I'm gonna click on that extension and I'll grab this collection ID for this entire page. And if I paste that at the very beginning of my code, this code will only apply to this specific collection. It won't work on any other page on my website. I'll select save. And again, this will just be applied to this individual collection where I have this slideshow. Underneath this video, you'll find the code that we just used along with the links to some resources, including that free Chrome extension. Again, not affiliated, just a fan. So I wanted to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.